Hello and welcome to Pavli Connect. So in this video, we are going to show you how you can send new rows of data from Google Sheets to Pavli Connect every one minute. So existing add-on which Pavli Connect have for Google Sheet, using this add-on, you can add a webhook URL in your Google Sheet and you can instantly send the new row of data from Google Sheet to Pavli Connect. Or you can auto schedule to send new rows of data from Google Sheets to Pavli Connect every one hour. Or you can choose to send custom data from your Google Sheet or you can choose to send all the data of your existing Google Sheet to Pavli Connect. But right now guys, the process which we came up with in this video, using this, you can check for new rows of data in your Google Sheet every one minute. And in last one minute, if you have added few rows of data, you can send those new rows of data every one minute to Pavli Connect and trigger your automation workflows. Let's say in last one minute, I have added 10 new rows of data in my Google Sheet. So after one minute, when this trigger will check, it will find all of those 10 new rows of data and then it will send all of those data to our workflow will trigger in Pavli Connect. So how you can set up this kind of trigger for Google Sheet that will check for new data every one minute and send that data to Pavli Connect. To do this, we will be adding a simple app script in our Google Sheets account. And don't worry guys, you don't need to have any kind of technical skills or coding knowledge. I'll just share the link of the app script in the description box. You just have to copy the app script and paste it in your Google Sheets account. So let's start with the process. Here you can see that I have created a workflow in Pavli Connect. Here in this workflow, I'll just choose Google Sheet in Trigger. Select Google Sheets. And then in Trigger event from the dropdown, select New or Updated Spreadsheet Row. After selecting the trigger event, as usual, Pavli Connect gave us the webhook URL. Now, before adding this webhook URL in our Google Sheet, first we have to install the app script in Google Sheets. For that, we will go to our Google Sheets account, we will go to extensions, and here you can see an option of apps script. Just click on it. Then in the new tab, this app script section of Google Sheet will open up. Now here you can see that you have some default script. You just have to clear this default script. Then after that, here you can see on our Pavli Connect forum, we have created a complete guide, a step-by-step -step guide that how you can set up this trigger. So here guys, at this same page, you can see the link of the app script as well. You will find the link of this forum thread and also the link of the app script in the description box below. So here you can see from this app script link, you just have to copy this complete app script given over here. And after copying this, just paste it in this app script section. So we have copied it and here in this app script section, just paste it over here. Right now, I have given this app script a name as Pavli Connect. You can give any name of your choice. And after pasting this, just click on this save project button. Now, as we click on save project, this app script is now saved in our Google Sheets account. After saving this, we will go back to Google Sheets and refresh our Google Sheets once. And after refreshing our Google Sheet, we will see within few seconds, we will have Pavli Webhooks option over here. So because we have added this app script, now you can see after refreshing it, within few seconds, we have this Pavli Webhooks option. Just click on this option and from the drop down, select send rows every minute. And now you can see that this dialog box will appear in front of us. Let's read the instruction. The trigger will auto send new rows from Google Sheet every minute. To set or update trigger, enter the webhook URL and click the yes button to set the trigger. Optionally, set the last column name which when filled will trigger and send the row. So here guys, you just have to enter the webhook URL given by Pavli Connect. From the workflow, just copy the webhook URL and then you just have to paste it over here. And also to add the webhook URL, we have two different options. Either we can only enter the webhook URL over here or we can enter the webhook URL with the last column. So if the new row of data will be entered in last column, which we are going to enter, only in that case, the data of that row will be sent to Pavli Connect. So here it has given us the example, like after entering the webhook URL, you have to enter a comma and then you can enter the last column name. So what we are going to do, we have copied the webhook URL from Pavli Connect. Let's paste this webhook URL over here. And after pasting the webhook URL, let's add a comma and enter a last column. So here guys, in my Google Sheet, I have three columns of data. So column C is going to be my last column. So I will be entering column C as the last column over here. 
And then if you click on yes, this trigger will set up. And if you have already created a trigger using this process, now you want to remove the existing trigger. In that case, you can select no over here. So right now I will be just creating this trigger and click on yes. After clicking on yes, we can see the trigger setup is successfully done. Now every one minute, this trigger will check for new rows of data in our Google Sheet. And if it finds a new row of data in our Google Sheet added in last one minute, it will send all of the data to Pabli Connect over here. Now here in our Pabli Connect workflow, it is showing us waiting for webhook response. And here in our Google Sheet, we already have one row of data over here. So we will see within few seconds, the data of this first row, which we have in our Google Sheet after headers, the data of this row will be received inside Pabli Connect. Also, there is one important thing. While setting up this trigger, you just have to ensure that you have proper headers and at least one row of data in your Google Sheet. So here in our Pabli Connect workflow, you can see we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the details of that very first row. Here's the first name, last name, and email. So the same details which we have entered over here in this Google Sheet, the same details are now received inside Pabli Connect. Now, after receiving these details, guys, what we are going to do, we will just wait for a few minutes. And after a few minutes, we will enter some new rows of data in this Google Sheet. And we will check whether the new row of data which we are going to add in this Google Sheet, within one minute, that data is sent to Pabli Connect or not. So here, guys, you can see the time right now is 1.28 p.m. Okay, so we have waited for a few minutes. It's 1.36 p.m. right now. And now we are going to enter a new row of data in the Google Sheet just to check this trigger. So before adding a new row of data, what we are going to do, we will go to a public connect workflow and we will click on this recapture webhook response button. It has changed to waiting for webhook response. Now after doing this, we will go back to our Google Sheet and we are going to enter a new row of data. So these are the details. Okay, so just now in this Google Sheet, after setting up this trigger, I have added a new row of data. And we will see after adding this new row of data, because we have created this trigger, every one minute, this trigger will check for new data. It will find this row and the data of this newly added row will be sent to Pabli Connect. So within one minute, we will get the response of that row in our Pabli Connect workflow. And yes, here you can see that within one minute, the details of the new row which we have added in our Google Sheet, the details of that row is received inside Pabli Connect. So here you can see that the trigger setup which we have done using app script between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect, this trigger is working perfectly fine. Now let's say if I add 10 rows of data in this Google Sheet, after one minute, it will find those 10 new rows of data and it will send the data of those new rows to Pabli Connect. So in this way, using this app script trigger, you can check for new rows of data in your Google Sheet every one minute and send the data from your Google Sheet to Pabli Connect every one minute over here. So guys, this was the complete guide on how you can send new rows of data from Google Sheets to Pabli Connect every one minute. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any doubts, queries or need any help, you can write to us in the comment box below. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.